Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. My name's Maggie and I'm still an LRCC member here at the Squam Lakes Association. I'm really excited to be back here for a second AmeriCorps term at the SLA. Can you guess why? Because there's snow. Here in New England, it seems like everybody kind of has different feelings about the snow. Me personally, I love it. You know, as long as it comes in the winter and leaves in the spring, as long as it snows on my birthday and we get a couple snow days, and of course, as long as it doesn't run my car off the road. But regardless of what your feelings are about snow, you cannot deny the great benefits it has to our planet. So besides helping out the polar bears, what benefits does snow give us? Well, for starters, snow cover helps regulate the global temperature. Meteorologists use the term albedo to describe how reflective the Earth's surface is. So, pretend the snow isn't on the ground and imagine that we're in the dead of summer. So if the sun is shining on both of these buildings, which surface do you think is going to be hotter? The dark colored one or the lighter colored one? The dark colored one, because we all know that darker colors absorb heat, whereas lighter colors, like snow, reflect it. So snow and ice in a few key places can help keep the whole globe cool by reflecting that sunlight. And snow and ice can reflect up to 90% of the sun's rays, whereas vegetation usually only reflects anywhere from 10 to 30% of that energy. So if snow cover is replaced by greenery and the ocean surface, we'll be in pretty big trouble. So this cooling effect will impact summertime rains and monsoon season once the weather begins to warm in the springtime. And did you know that according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center, 98% of the Earth's snow cover is right here in the Northern Hemisphere. We also rely on snow to keep our fresh water on hold, like money in the bank. And then it flows into our supply as it melts when we need it most. So the amount of snow and how much soil freezes and remains frozen due to the snow's insulation, this helps scientists estimate how much water will be available in the area come spring and summer. And as temperatures warm, this means more rain than snow and ice, so that compromises how much water that we have on reserve. The snow also covers ground vegetation and helps prevent it from drying out during the arid air conditions that can often happen in the winter time. It also insulates them from extreme temperature swings along with bacteria, fungi, insects, and anything else that might live in the soil. And for a lot of the native woodland plants, like we have here in New Hampshire, uh, seeds go into a state of dormancy during the winter to protect them so that they don't attempt to grow during the wrong times. And these seeds often have a coating on them. So when the snow goes through freeze and thaw cycles, this coating softens up and it's easier for the seed to break out of the casing come the springtime. So if that casing isn't softened, it won't germinate in the spring. Another important benefit to snow is permafrost, which is ground that is permanently frozen on the land or on the ocean floor. And a layer of earth needs to remain frozen for at least two years for it to be considered permafrost. And in the Northern Hemisphere, we actually have things uh, developed on top of permafrost. So if it melts, this can cause landslides, erosion, compromise wetland habitats, and it also causes areas to be more susceptible to wildfires and coastal flooding. And kind of like how snow keeps our water on reserve, permafrost is one of the largest reserves of greenhouse gases. So if these layers begin to thaw, these gases get released into the atmosphere, and we certainly do not need more of that. So if you're dreading the road conditions for the next six months, just remind yourself of all the long-term benefits of snow. Maybe it won't seem so bad. I hope the next time that I see you guys is in a sled or building a snowman. If you can't wait for more snow, let us know why in the comments below. Join us again soon for another Share, Learn, Adventure.